Hey guys, my name is Kev and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to use an Xbox controller on PC. Now I want to be very specific and very clear when I talk about Xbox. We are talking about the Xbox, I'm using the Xbox Series X controller. The Xbox One controller is almost identical identical in the same setup if you want to go back i've never owned the original xbox so i've never used any of their controllers on pc i don't know how that one works i've never used the original xbox controller and the 360 is its own monster in and of itself um I, at this point, don't even recommend getting a 360 controller for the PC um, because you have to buy a separate USB plug-in for it, and it's a whole different ball game. But if you want to use a modern Xbox controller, like I said, the Series X and S controller, um, we're, I'm using a Series X controller here, or an Xbox One controller, those setups are going to be identical, and there's two ways to do it. Um, if you are somebody who prefers a PlayStation controller, um, that's possible as well. And if you look in the card right there, um, or right there, I forget where exactly they put it. Um, I will. I have another video showing how to set up the DualSense controller, the PlayStation 5 controller, and you can use that one as well. So, first setup. Um, like I said, this is probably going to be the easiest way, the easiest method. Um, the Xbox controllers are the easiest way to go on Windows. Um, obviously, it's Xbox, it's Microsoft, it's Windows. They want you to use their accessories with Windows. That just makes sense. And so because of that, they have all of this stuff kind of built in. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to need, if you're doing the first method, you're going to need a cable. So I have two cables here, and the reason I have two cables here, you only need one, but it depends on what controller you have because the setup will be a little different um, because the standards for USB were different um, based on the time period. So this is a micro USB to USB A connection. So what you'll see here, if I get it over here in the light a little bit, the tip on the inside is just slightly different and it's slightly smaller than USB-C. This is the kind of cable you would use, the micro USB, if you have an Xbox One controller outside of the Elite controllers. Um, the Elite controllers use USB Type-C. Um, but like I said, the original Xbox um, controllers, once they went to USB, because the very, very first ones, if I remember right, were a different proprietary setup altogether. Um, but the, uh, I know when they revised it like a year or two in, they went to micro USB and that's what you need for those. They will not work with USB type C. USB type C is the standard for everything today. Your phone uses it. The PlayStation 5 controller uses it. The Switch controller uses it. Um, chances are, like I said, your phone probably uses it. I know Android phones use it. I use Android. Uh, I think think iPhones do too. I haven't had an iPhone in years. I use Android. Um, but the point I'm making is almost everything these days uses USB type C. Now you want a, um, a type A side and a USB C side or micro depending on which cable you have. Really simple. Basically your normal standard USB, that's type A. That's all you need to know. Um, you need that side so it can plug into the computer. The USB type C, like I said, it's if you look at the plug-in, it's the same thing you use on your phone, probably. And it's just an oval. You can plug it in any direction. Um, that'll work there. Don't worry about it. Don't get too complicated about the um, cable. Just make sure it works. Make Or if you have just a charge cable um, that came with your controller, you can get a longer one. Just make sure it's the same type because that charge control that charge cable will work here, too. Easiest method, plug it, boom, into the controller and then just plug it into your computer. My computer's over here. Boom. Controller's on. Now if we switch over to Windows, Windows should just automatically detect it. Well, we're gonna do it in Steam, and Steam will automatically detect it. And what you can do, you go into Steam, and then you go into Settings, and you will go into Controller, X, X Input Controller, that's just the Xbox controller. Xbox uses X input. Oftentimes you'll just see X input and everything just works. It's just there. If I hit the Xbox button, usually it'll go to big picture mode. Sometimes it won't because of the built-in Xbox stuff. If you hit the big picture button, also shout out to Luigi. You'll see there, boom. We're in big picture mode. Everything is working as expected, as intended right away. Not a lot of fuss there. Um, you can go in here, you can start Starfield or Halo or whatever you want to play there. 
it just works. <clears throat> so that's the first method. The second method there is a little, um, it's a little more difficult, but not really. Um, like I said, I think the Xbox method is actually the easiest method um, when you're doing it on Windows. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in just a second. I just gotta get back to my desktop here. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to get your Xbox controller into pairing mode. Now the uh, Xbox One controllers and the um, Series S and X controller have a little button here. It's a little circular button next to the left bumper. And you see, you just hold that guy in there and eventually it'll start flashing. And that'll mean that it's in pairing mode. Once it's in pairing mode, let me switch back to my screen here. You're gonna go into the settings for Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11, it doesn't matter, I just use Windows 11, um, but it's basically the same thing. You're gonna go into Bluetooth and devices, and you're gonna go to add a new device. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Your PC will have to be Bluetooth compatible, or you'll have to get the little USB dongle that they um, used to sell. I don't know if they still sell them anymore, but you can buy a little USB plug in and put that into your computer too. I think it's a waste of time, just use Bluetooth um, for that. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, hit add device, Bluetooth, give it a second. There's the Xbox wireless controller. Click it on, boom, good to go. All set, you're done there. Now if we go back to Steam, we go back to big picture mode, give it a second. Boom, just like before. It's easy, it's so easy to get the Xbox controller going. If you're looking for a controller for Windows to play PC games on, the Xbox controller is, in my opinion, the easiest option. And the best part is, it's kind of the industry standard because um, everybody uses the Xbox stuff in Windows. So say you use the Epic Game Store and um, where they depend on, um, they don't have native controller support in the um, Epic Game Store. The game itself has to support controllers. Almost every modern game on PC supports the Xbox controller. That's not always the case with the PlayStation controller. If you're using the EA Store or Game Pass or um, Ubisoft Connect, they all natively support the Xbox controller. That's not always the case with the PlayStation controller. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but that's the setup, it's just as easy as that. And then you just go in and you play your games and you have fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Of course, if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Um, if you like this content, hit that subscribe button, share with a friend, that lets me know you want more of this kind of content as well. I'll talk to you guys next time, and thanks for watching.